Hello YouTube, today I'm at Champion Chevrolet taking a look at this 2020 Chevy Silverado 1500 LT Trail Boss. Starting up front, as you can see, full LED headlights as well as LED fog lights. Really nice red uh, tow recovery hooks. Blacked out bumper with parking sensors integrated into the black portion of the bumper. Your Z71 badge is right there. With your blacked out bow tie in the middle. Really cool looking fins that direct airflow around the wheel wells. Coming around to the wheel and tire setup, looks like we have some Goodyear Wranglers and they are a 275-65 R18. Splash guard right here. And in a previous video, I had talked about this extra thick paint that goes along the rocker panel. And a subscriber had actually reached out to me and told me that it's called Chip Guard. And what it's designed to do is protect against rock chips and corrosion. It's, it's thicker, so it's supposed to, in theory, hold up longer against the elements. You do have your Z71 badge right here. Blacked out mirror caps with LED lights in the mirrors. Cab length running boards. This vehicle does have the passive or proximity entry. So as long as you have the key fob with you, you can lock and unlock the vehicle from uh, the driver and passenger doors. Here's your capless fuel fill port. And then down here again, that chip guard kind of comes up what I just traced around, which is really nice. Uh, splash guard in front. And then you have this plastic right here to protect against uh, rock chips and stuff. There's your Trail Boss decal. Really nice LED tail light as well. Uh, Chevrolet is stamped into the tailgate and there's actually a black lettering inlay. Backup camera right here. LED spotlight right here, which makes hooking up to a trailer at night very easy. Four pin and seven pin connectors are right there. Parking sensors again integrated into the bumper and you do have dual exhaust. Now, this is the second generation of uh, instep bumper. As you can see, I am wearing steel toe boots and I can pretty much fit my whole boot in there comfortably. With the previous style uh, bumper, you wouldn't be able to get your whole foot in there. So very cool that Chevy's listening to their uh, customers. Your black LT badge is right there and your blacked out Silverado again is right over there. Something I want to point out too, it is covered in snow right now. This third brake light slash wing is designed to shoot air over the bed of the truck, uh, reducing that drag and vortex that hurts uh, fuel economy. Overall, this color combo, this really nice blue and black with these uh, iconic red recovery hooks looks absolutely awesome and this thing coming down the road you'll tell right away that it's a trail boss let's take a closer look at the interior so starting out i kind of want to point out the trim accents in this vehicle it's got this plastic looking wood it does look very nice even though it is plastic i still think that that's a that's a very tasteful touch that they had put in this vehicle all of your window controls are right here, and then your mirror controls are up top. You do have your lock and unlock button right by the door handle. You have your mode dial right here. Flick it to the left, and you go into trailer tow mode. Flick it into the right, and you go into sport mode or off-road mode. You can then flick it back to the right again to go into normal. Under that, we have your push button transfer case. Your auto, two high, four high, and four low is right here. Your cargo light button is right here. When it is on, you have a little amber indicator light right there. To the left of that, we have your uh, fog lights. Then we have your dimmer switch for the instrument cluster right here. And then all of the lighting for the exterior of the vehicle can be found right here. Coming up to the instrument cluster, we do have your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, various gauges in the middle, and a very nice color LCD display. Working our way back to the steering wheel, very nice leather wrapped steering wheel. All of your cruise control buttons are right here. 
This does have a heated steering wheel as well, indicated again by the amber light, and it does get very warm, which is nice on a very cold uh, winter day in Michigan. All of your hands-free call buttons are right over here, and then your control pad for the center LCD screen is right there. Uh, two things to note, uh, the first being uh, you can go left or right, but to go up or down you use this scroll wheel, and then to select what you want to go into, you push in on the wheel and it actually clicks. Up here we have two storage compartments, one shallow one closest to the windshield and a deeper one closer to the passengers. Really nice uh, LCD touchscreen display. I believe this is eight inches. Um, you do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as navigation, I believe, and the trailering app, which helps you go through your pre-trip checklist. Uh, this vehicle is also connected via 4G LTE. Down here, we have some physical buttons for the touchscreen display. Volume knob, tune knob, or, or and then selection knob, your back and forward buttons for the audio, your back button for the touchscreen, and then your home button. Below that, we have your dual zone climate control and buttons. This one can be at whatever, and this one can be at even higher or lower. Um, very cool. This vehicle does come with heated uh, driver and passenger seats. Push button start is right here, and in my opinion, it is in the perfect location. I'm not a huge fan of when it's up and over there. I think it's perfect right here. Parking sensors off. This is your uh, automatic start stop off button. This button will release the tailgate. That's your hazard light button. Traction control off. Your power outlet button uh, for the power outlet in the bed of the truck. And then because this is a Z71 Trail Boss, you do have your hill descent control button right here. You also have an integrated trailer brake control, which is very nice. Um, it used to be up over here, however, they moved it back down here, and in my opinion, it was a good move because most people are right-handed and it just feels natural to be right there. You have a USB-C port, 12-volt outlet, or USB-C, USB, and a 12-volt outlet, excuse me, and then a 120-volt, uh, 150-watt max power outlet right here. You have a little bit of storage right here, and then two cup holders and a storage cutout right there as well. This center armrest has uh, storage for a plus size smartphone. Open it up, giving you access to a LED lit storage bin. It does have file hangers, so if you do use this vehicle for work, you can store all your files in here and you'll be good to go. You have an SD card reader, USB-C, USB, and a auxiliary jack outlet as well. Here's a closer look at the cloth seats for this interior. Two glove boxes, first one up top, second one down below. LED lit, or I should say unlit vanity for the passenger as well as driver. I thought that that would actually be lit. Three door universal garage remote, if you can see. LED dome map lights. This button in the middle controls the rear sliding window. And then you have all of your OnStar SOS buttons right there. Overall, pretty impressed with this interior. Um, love this touchscreen and that trailering app where you can go through the checklist and everything is very, very cool. With that being said, let's take a closer look at the back and see how much legroom we have. There's two things I wanna go over before I get into the back seat of this vehicle. Uh, first one, this door is absolutely massive and it, it almost opens up at a 90 degree angle. I think it's somewhere between uh, 70 and 85 degrees, which makes loading kids or big items in the back very easy. Uh, this particular one does have the uh, dealer installed floor mats, which covers up past the driver's seat. And you do have in-floor storage right here. These seats obviously do fold down. However, it is locked into place right now. And then those are the uh, floor mats for up front. There we go. So getting up and in is real easy. This uh, does have a two inch lift from the factory being the trail boss. So these running boards are nice. And you have a grab handle right here and we're up and in. Now with the 
Driver's seat situated where it would be if I was driving, I'd say I have a solid 10 to 11 inches of legroom before my knees actually hit the front seat. You do have storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger side. Two cup holders right here with a cutout for a tablet, which is always awesome. Heating and cooling vents for the rear passengers, as well as a USB-C, USB, and 12 volt outlet. Uh, let's put this down. This being an LT Trail Boss, this particular one does have some added features. It has a fold down armrest slash cup holder, very nice. And it has the in seat storage on both driver and passenger sides. Now, a lot of people say that this isn't really much space, but I mean, my hand's pretty big. I can fit my whole hand you know, behind this seat. So essentially there's only like about this much space behind here that's not being used. You can definitely fit a lot of stuff back in there. Something I didn't mention when I was up front is the headliner has been actually raised a little bit around the driver and passenger and then the rear passengers as well. Um, again, I'm a 5'11", and I'd say I have a solid three to four inches of headroom before I hit the headliner. So definitely cool that uh, Chevy and General Motors uh, realized that, hey, they have some pretty tall customers, and they uh, accommodated that. Very nice. You do have hanger hooks on passenger and driver's side. Obviously, your LED dome map lights. Uh, pretty standard. Uh, back seat. I mean, I, with the way these trucks are nowadays, how much leg room you have, I could definitely be comfortable on a very long car ride. Uh, with that being said, let's take a look at the, uh, the bed. Now there's a couple ways to open the tailgate on this vehicle. First one's from the key fob. Second one is from that button that I had showed you in the cab. And then the third way would be to come up to it and just push the button. It is uh, automatic lowering, which is very nice. If you look closely, if you can see, I mean, we got a ton of snow here in Michigan the last couple days. Uh, this does have a bed liner from the factory installed. You do have three tie down points at each corner of the bed for a total of 12 tie down points, which is class leading. You also have LED bed lights right there and right there. And the cargo lamp is right up there. If you look closely too, uh, Chevy has pushed out the bed as far the bed walls as far as they can to maximize cargo space. So very very cool, and I think this is actually class leading in in terms of cargo space as well. Uh, now opening and or closing the tailgate is very easy as well. I believe all of the hinged components on this vehicle are aluminum, meaning the hood, the doors, and the tailgate. So I can take two fingers and close it very easily. Let's take a closer Here's look at the window the sticker. I don't know how much you'll be able to see, so I'll just kind of go over the important parts. Again, this is a 2020 Silverado Crew Cab LT Trail Boss, four-wheel drive. The exterior color is North Ski Blue Metallic, which is an absolutely beautiful color. And the engine is a 5.3 liter v, uh, Ecotec V8 with a 10-speed automatic transmission. Your standard equipment is in this rectangle right here. The standard vehicle price is $48,500. All of your optional equipment is right here. The total vehicle price is $56,195. Your fuel economy rating is right here. This vehicle is rated at 16 miles per gallon city, 21 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 18 miles per gallon. I want to give Champion Chevrolet, located in Howell, Michigan, a huge shout out and thank you for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in getting into a 2020 uh, Silverado 15, 25, or 3500, I will be leaving all of the contact info in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.